2013 brings the 40th anniversary of the Great Secretariat's Triple Crown season. Tremendous performances, Horse of the Year title, and overwhelming popularity. His star still shines brightly through comparisons of all-time greats, YouTube videos, numerous websites, a major motion picture, and personal accounts. Those personal accounts include many dedicated fans from Washington State. I think he was one of our greatest horses of all time. When you're talking about a horse like Secretary at Seattle Slough, affirmed to those horses, you know, the good Lord made some champions, but he blessed only a few with superior being champions. And, and of course, Secretary was one of those. Secretariat debuted in the summer of 1972 and proceeded to win seven races that season, five of them stakes. He was named champion two-year-old and horse of the year. As 73 began, Big Red was the early favorite for the Kentucky Derby. John White was growing up in Spokane in 1973, a sports writer for his high school newspaper and already a huge racing fan. The first time I'd really heard of Secretariat was reading about him in Sports Illustrated when he was a two-year-old and seeing how talented he was and, and that he might be one of the all-time greats. I climbed aboard the bandwagon and started writing about him in my high school newspaper as a senior in 1973. And in fact, in March of 1973, I wrote a column at in the, my high school paper predicting that he would win the Triple Crown. And of course, Secretariat would go on to become the first Triple Crown winner since citation in 1948. Secretariat won the Kentucky Derby with a last to first run in record time. Secretariat is in the center of the racetrack and driving. Jackie Green now drops back. Coming on a bit is Forgo, our native on the outside. Now and they're in the stretch, it's sec Secretariat. Secretariat on the outside to take the lead. Sham holding in second. It's Secretariat moving away, he has it by two and a half. Sham, then on the outside, our native. At the wire, it's going to be Secretariat. He wins it by two lengths. Two weeks later, victory in the Preakness with a breathtaking move on the clubhouse turn. One of racing's most memorable moments. Our native and Secretariat is last again as they move into the first turn. They're into the turn. Ecole Taj has it by two lengths. Torsion second by a length and then Sham third. Sham under an easy hold right now. But here comes Secretariat. He's moving fast and he's going to the outside. He's going for the lead and it's right now he's looking for it. Secretariat by two lengths. Sham driving second. There's a strong left-handed whip again by Tinkai. He goes to it time and time again. But Ronnie Turcott has his whip put away. And Secretariat has him put away. He's been getting the raw away. It is Secretariat. He's coming to the wire. He wins it by two and a half, almost three. In the Belmont Stakes of June 9, 1973, Secretariat gave one of the greatest athletic performances of all time. Announcer Chick Anderson's call still sends chills through the body. Secretariat is widening now. He is moving like a tremendous machine. Secretariat by 12. Secretariat by 14 length on the turn. Sam is dropping back. It looks like they'll catch him today as Mike Allen and Vice the Prince are both coming up to him now. But Secretariat is all alone. He's out there almost a sixteenth of a mile away from the rest of the horses. Secretariat is in a position that seems impossible to catch. He's into the stretch. Secretariat leads his field by 18 lengths. And now Price of Prince has taken second, and Mike Gallant has moved back to third. They're in the stretch. Secretariat has opened a 22-length lead. He is going to be the Triple Crown winner. Here comes Secretariat to the wire. An unbelievable, an amazing performance. 31 lengths ahead at the wire in 224, breaking the track record by an incredible two and three-fifths seconds. My uh, greatest thrill in racing was in uh, 1973 when he uh, won the Belmont. I was there, he won by 31 lengths. There might have been 75,000 people there, give or take. And uh, it was amazing. It seemed like everybody wanted him to win. And there were more souvenir tickets held on that, uh, that day that weren't cashed. Much of the track's happiness, I guess. But uh, it, was just, it was just tremendous atmosphere and uh, there'll never be another one like him, in my opinion. Well, when I think about the race and that day, is it's when he's straightened for home, 
it was like everything stood still. He like literally blew up. He just got bigger at the quarter pole, expanded his lungs, his body, and literally went 44 mile an hour home. And we've never seen anything like it since. And it was a spectacular, uh, you know, it was a, unbelievable. Unprecedented for a horse before or since, Secretariat made the covers of Time, Newsweek, and Sports Illustrated during the spring of 1973. Vicki Potter became a horse and racing fan in the early 70s, mostly due to viewing Secretariat's great performances. I graduated high school in 72, so in 1973 I was able to watch the amazing Secretariat and he became my by far favorite horse. And actually got me involved in racing as I got older because I was always looking for my Secretariat. Potter has a Secretariat shrine of sorts at her home. Secretariat won four more major races during the summer and fall of 73, including the rich Marlboro Cup, a brand new event created through his immense popularity. On the outside, Turcotte takes Secretariat up now, taking the lead by a length. Reaver Ridge is second, the rest of them fire back as they come into the final 16th of a mile. On the outside, it's Secretariat. Secretariat in front by two, Reaver Ridge second and Cougar. Secretariat in front. After another Horse of the Year title, his stud career began at Claiborne Farm in Kentucky. His popularity was ever growing, and Ralph Baca conducted many tours of ecstatic Washingtonians. Well, I knew the stud grooms, Bobby Anderson and, and all of them, and uh, so I always got a little insider special treatment deal, which was always very much appreciated by the people from here who wanted to go see their Prince Charming, and he was that. And he was gorgeous, he was beautiful, he was a ham. Uh, he'd come to the fence and, uh, you know, people got their picture taken with him and all that kind of stuff. Rick and Debbie Pabst were part of many of those tours. I saw him after his retirement, I probably saw him maybe as much as a dozen times. Uh, I, the first time I saw him was I think in 1974, so he'd already stood one season at stud at that point in time. And with a big group of Washington people, Ralph was shepherding us around, Ralph Vaca. And uh, we all were, you know, totally amazed and look at that secretariat and isn't he wonderful and all that stuff. But I probably saw him every time we'd go to Claiborne, he, he'd, we'd stop by and see him. He's just, you know, he was just, he was the man. <laughs> Ten years ago, Emerald Downs hosted a 30-year anniversary, a Secretariat Day. It was indeed a special Saturday. Penny Tweedy attended, along with Sports Illustrated writer and Secretariat biographer William Knack. Mike Gastineau hosted the event and remembers it and Big Red fondly. I talked to Susie Sauerwein, who was working at the track at the time in marketing, in the winter before. And I said, you know, it's Secretariat's 30th anniversary at that point. You've got to do something. And she took the ball and ran. And I remember thinking, I got here that morning, and I remember thinking, it's going to be embarrassing if nobody shows up for this. Well, what a foolish thing to think, because Secretariat, 30 years past his prime, still a great drawing card. The, the event was packed. Still, you know, so much of a, of a relationship between the fans and the horse, and people wanted to come out and, and hear about the horse and watch the three great races. Retrospectively, it, it's one of the highlights of my career in Seattle. Amazingly, Secretariat still holds the record in all three Triple Crown races. Those who remember back to the events of 1973 often think first of the great Secretariat.